person in a while and I'm sorry. Um, but I'm going to be making some art. This is kind of a tutorial. You could follow along with me. I don't think you're going to be able to get very far. Um, because I'm instructing you, but like, whatever. So, um, I don't really know what I'm painting. I'm painting a little abstract piece of art with a sponge. Because I got a new set for Christmas for my aunt. Thank you. Um, Aunt Lisa for the beautiful paint set that I'm so excited to use and I've been waiting all day. Um, so we've got a canvas, a sponge, we don't talk about that, canvas, a sponge, and then a paintbrush to add paint. I have a whole thing of paintbrushes just in case I want to use more. But I feel like this is a good one for now. Um, and then I had Nadia <laughs> pick out the colors. And she picked red and blue. And I had a really hard time getting into this paint. Because I already put red on my canvas. Or my palette. But I had a hard time opening it. And then I realized I forgot this trick. And I don't know if any of you guys know this. But you can take the cap off and then use the bottom of the cap, puncture a hole, and there you go. And it literally looked like, when I first opened it, like it wasn't able to open. Like you couldn't open it, like at all. But you can. And that's probably the best way, instead of running around your house trying to find scissors. Because I know I was doing that. <laughs> so then I got some water, just in case I want to dilute anything. I don't know if I will, but I have it just in case. This is what it looks like. Don't mind the messy room. <laughs> okay, first I'm gonna start by putting down some um, paint. And I don't know how to give you the best view of what I'm doing, cause I'm charging my phone. <laughs> All right, so first off, I'm gonna go in with the red and I'm kind of taking some water and going in with it. And let's pop this out of the way. And I'll show you. I'm going to start over here. And I'm just painting the swirls. I may be able to turn this into something. Because I don't really know what I'm doing right now. All right. All right. So I'm just gonna find areas to put my paint um, that I think are good areas where I wanna put them. And um, also, I feel like this paint is gonna dry really quickly. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna start using my blue. Um, some blue in. I'll come right back. Hey guys. So, um, you saw the beginning of the video. And this is me like five minutes after. I do not like how it turned out, and I'm trying to water it down with a sponge and clean up the mess I just made by turning it into a sunset because, um, it's like my best bet. I ruined it, pretty much, because I didn't like how anything turned out, and then I just kept adding things, which is not a good idea, yeah. Now I have blue, and I've had it mixed, so we're gonna 
my arm. We're gonna add blotches of, of it. It's done. <laughs> and then hopefully it comes together nicely. Because all I did with the other one was just But don't mind the lighting. Um, it's just so that I can see here with my other viewers on. So, yeah, this is what we have. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what we have. And my plan is to add like red, like go in here, and then some blue, and then red, blue, blue. and then blend that out. And then it's going to go with this one. Um, because I messed up. And I want the skyline to be a little bit shorter than the... Whatever this part is going to be. Kind of looks like sand, an ocean. But I'm adding, like, some shading of blue here to add like I don't know but it looks good so yeah. you guys can't really like follow along on this one because I'm not really showing you but this is what it looks like and then I'm gonna add some shading Some red, dipping it in water, and oh, okay, wait. Here we go. Because I dipped it in blue water. I'm just gonna probably fade it. So I'm gonna grab some blue, mix it with water, and I'm gonna get it really dark so that I can add And yeah, I'm just gonna do that. You probably don't know what I'm doing, but I'll show you. Okay, honestly, you just get like, the most important things, but I had it on a time lapse. But I'm gonna show you. Dots, but that's besides the point. Let me show you. Okay, let me show you. Um, so I don't really know because I want to keep doing this because it's been fun, but I don't know what to do. Um, because it's pretty much done. There's probably nothing I can do. Um, I just had a good idea. As I said, there's nothing I can do. I dipped it in like the color, the purple color, and I'm putting streaks of it on the blue side. This could make or break it, so. And hopefully this will make it look 
good. Does that look good? You can see exactly where I just put that. Hmm. I took the paint off. So now we're just going in with glue. on this now because I think I messed it up. Alright, it's fine. It just needs to be. Alright, safe to say that did not work. And I messed it up. Make the color, add a little bit of water. And paint. Cause this one most definitely stuck it. it because I just love it. Alright, there's a lot of pictures with this. Don't follow this tutorial because it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm going to show you now what it looks like. Here it is, you have a little gradient. I don't even know how I fixed that. I kind of just took a whole bunch of blue and a whole bunch of red, mixed it. Oh my god, look. And tried my best to blend it. Because, yeah. <laughs> but I hope you like that art video. Because I'm not really done with my video before. Oh, I have actually. I think I've done like two. But I don't really know. I hope you liked it. I'm gonna try to get it post today, posted today, the 26th of December. I'm gonna go edit it after I clean this up. But if you enjoyed, 